Welcome to how to calculate your cumulative grade point average with a repeated course. My name is Colleen and I'm a registration assistant in University One. If you have ever retaken a course at the University of Manitoba or are considering it, you may have wondered how this new attempt will impact your cumulative grade point average or GPA. This podcast was developed to show you, a University One student, how to calculate your cumulative grade point average when you have repeated a course. This is a continuation of the How to Calculate Your Cumulative GPA podcast. I won't be going into detail about the steps to calculate your GPA, so if you haven't already, I suggest that you review the How to Calculate Your Cumulative GPA podcast prior to viewing this one on repeated courses to ensure that you have a solid understanding of how the GPA calculation works. All U1 podcasts are available on our website. Let's get started. Aurora student calculates your cumulative GPA with repeats automatically, but understanding how to calculate it is important to know so that you will be able to make informed decisions about whether repeating a course is right thing for you and how the new attempt will impact your cumulative GPA. If you repeat a course, only the last grade achieved will be counted towards your cumulative grade point average. This is indicated on Aurora student with the letter E beside your previous attempt signifying that it is excluded from your calculation, and the letter I beside your most recent attempt showing it is included in your cumulative GPA calculation. However, your official transcript will show the grades of all course attempts, meaning that both attempts will remain on your transcript. Repeating a course does not make the first grade disappear. In most cases, you will only be given one opportunity to repeat a course in which you have received a final grade. This also includes taking a course considered to be an equivalent to the course originally attempted. You may repeat a course that you have previously taken, but you are not required to do so because of a low grade or a voluntary withdrawal, unless it is a course that is needed for admission or required once you are in your target faculty. It is always a good idea to discuss with a U1 academic advisor if repeating a course is the right choice for you. However, all U1 students will need approval from University One prior to registering in the course again. It is important to note that what we will be reviewing today is a calculation for your cumulative GPA, or CGPA, with a repeated course. Some faculties use an adjusted GPA or a GPA for admission that may involve a different calculation and that may treat repeated courses differently than what we'll be reviewing today. Please look at the applicant bulletin for your targeted faculty to see if they use an adjusted GPA. You can find applicant bulletins online at the admissions website. Using the previous courses and grades from How to Calculate Your Cumulative GPA podcast, let's look through the GPA calculation again, but in this example, we'll say that you repeated Psychology 1200. So your grades are as follows. You have taken Economics 1200 with a grade of C+, Math 1010 with a grade of B+, and Chemistry 1300 with a grade of A. You have repeated Psychology 1200 in which you originally received a grade of D. The second time you took the course, you got a grade of C. Before we begin, we will recalculate your credit hours. On Aurora student, credit hours are referred to as GPA hours. Before you repeated Psychology 1200, you had 18 credit hours. Now that you have repeated it, this first six credit hours from your first attempt will be excluded from the calculation and the six credit hours from your second attempt will be included. This will leave you with an unchanged total of 18 GPA hours. Now we will be calculating your GPA for your new Psychology 1200 grade of C. Step one. The first step in calculating your cumulative GPA is to assign grade points to each of your letter grades. Since we previously assigned grade points to these courses, 
we just need to recalculate for your new grade in psychology. Your new grade point for Psychology 1200 is a 2 because you have now received a C. Step 2. The next step is to determine the quality points you will receive for Psychology 1200 by multiplying the GPA hours by the grade points earned. Again, we previously assigned quality points for your other courses, so we just need to assign points for Psychology 1200. Since Psychology 1200 is a six credit hour course and you received two grade points, you will multiply six by two to get a total of 12 quality points. Step three. Now you need to add up all your quality points. Don't forget to exclude your first attempt in Psychology 1200 and to include your second attempt. Take your 15 quality points from Economics 1200 plus 10.5 from Math 1010 plus 12 from your second attempt at Psychology 1200 plus 12 from Chemistry 1300 for a total of 49.5 quality points. Step 4. Now you are ready to calculate your cumulative GPA. To do this, divide your quality points by the total GPA hours. Take your 49.5 quality points and divide by 18 GPA hours, which equals your cumulative GPA of 2.75. Your previous cumulative GPA without the repeat was 2.42, so by repeating Psychology 1200, you have increased your cumulative GPA to 2.75. This concludes our podcast on how to calculate your cumulative GPA with a repeated course. Please take advantage of our online GPA calculator available on the U1 website to help you calculate your cumulative GPA. Please contact the U1 Student Help Center if you have any questions about repeating courses or calculating your cumulative GPA. The University One Student Help Center is located in 205 tier. You can also reach us by email at university underscore one at umanitoba.ca or by phone at 204-474-6209, toll free in Manitoba at 1-800-432-1960, extension 6209. Be sure to check out our other U1 podcasts posted on our website Thank you for watching. <laughs>